it's Laura here from TWG Designs. I'm back today with another flip through video. I wanted to kind of go over my latest product. It's live today in the shop and it is a digital notebook and it's meant to be kind of the sister to the Living Life Planner that I just recently launched. So I wanted to design a notebook that could go hand in hand with that digital planner. I also have a little bit of a cold, so excuse my voice, but let's get into it. This is the main cover that I included with the download. It's got a little bit of texture and I went ahead and left the label blank for you to be able to personalize. And again, this one is going to be called the Living Life Notebook. It has a very similar aesthetic. The first page is a welcome page again, very similar to the planner. These are all uh, linked so this is a hyperlinked notebook where you know you can tap on tabs and the coils the first page after the welcome is your index page and basically this notebook is meant for you to be able to completely customize your most perfect notebook I have included 12 tabs down the right hand side and they're each color coded just like they are here on the index page everything here on this page is hyperlinked so if you tap on each a number or box it will take you to that tab and very similar to the planner as well um, I've designed the tabs so that they kind of move over to this side once they're flipped over and you can also access the tabs obviously by clicking each tab one by one and jumping back and forth like that so that's basically the index on this page you can label each tab and it's just like your quick access to all of them the next uh, page over is a templates page. So this page is essentially a quick little overview of all of the page templates that are included in this notebook. And you'll see if you zoom in kind of a preview and if you tap on each one, it will take you to that template page. So this is this top right hand corner and each one will just take you straight to that template. I'm going to quickly go over how to add a template behind a tab. Let's say tab number one is going to be your just basic note taking, you know, lined template. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to use the lined with margin for this example. I also want to mention I'm using GoodNotes. I'm on the iPad Pro and I use the Apple Pencil. So that's just a side note, but I am on GoodNotes. And so to copy and paste this page behind tab one, I'm going to tap these three dots, copy page. The page will be copied and then I'm going to navigate over to my tab and I'm going to press this icon and press paste page after. And just like that, your lined page will be pasted after tab number one. And just like that, you can continue to paste page again. Now you have two copies of it. You can go back to your templates and choose a different template. Let's say now I want to add this half grid. Again, copy. And then go back over to my tab. Let's say I want to paste the grid right after these two. Paste page, and now we've got the grid. So we'll have tab one, two lined pages that we just pasted, and the grid that we just pasted, and then tab two. So basically that's just the whole gist of how this whole notebook works. To let's say label this, you can just name this notes, whatever you want to label it. You can add some descriptions here. Another thing to note is that these coils will always take you back to the index page or you can obviously access them here. If I want to just quickly copy and paste this and without having to rewrite it on the index page, I'm gonna go into my lasso tool and circle it, copy, go back to my index, press to hold and paste, and then you can resize this and place it wherever you need. And just like that, you'll be able to go straight to tab one. You can click on the box itself, or you can click on the number whatever works best for you. Okay, so another thing to note about this notebook is that you will receive a matching widget sticker file. So this is the GoodNotes sticker file. So all of these will be pre-cropped and you can copy and paste them over to your uh, notebook like so. Let me actually just use this page as an example. So from the widget sticker file, I'm gonna just grab one that I wanna try. 
and I'm going to share, copy, and go back over here, hold, press to hold, and paste, and there you go. So these are the widgets that are included. I wanted to design a few that would be very functional, like a gift log, shows to watch, a wish list, uh, like an energy tracker, affirmation bar, some to-do lists, things to buy, notes. We have the books to read, movies to watch, and just a goals kind of like sticky note. So I figured these would be not only really functional and useful, but also bring in a little bit of aesthetics. So here's a quick example page of what I've done with these widgets. So you can use them on any over any page. They're essentially just stickers. And then also with this purchase of the notebook, you will also receive each of these as an individual PNG file with transparent background as well. You can also import them into your notebook if you're not using GoodNotes via a split screen method or by just saving them onto your tablet. And also included with this notebook, you will find the extra covers. So that's gonna be a separate uh, PDF file. And I've designed six covers total. So there's this floral one. Let me make this full screen. This floral one, there's kind of like this uh, marbled effect. This is the main one that just comes with the notebook. It looks kind of like a craft paper texture. And then this one with just some abstract artwork. And this one is very similar to the Living Life Planner. It's got that leather texture, but it is a like a camel neutral tone. I also wanted to mention just like the planner, if you tap down here on this little area right below the text, it will take you straight to the cover page. Now let's say you wanna change this cover page. I'd go back over here to my cover page file and just find the one that I like. Let's say I wanna use this one. Same thing, you're going to copy this page, go back over to your notebook file and paste. And now you have your new cover and you can just go ahead and delete this old cover by going move page to trash. Um, and then essentially this would be your new cover and you could swipe through as normal. So I'm going to go ahead and just quickly tap through to show you the different page templates. We've got a basic blank page, a lined page, and I also want to note that the lines are not black, they're kind of like a gray tone, like a mid-tone gray. We have lined with margin. We have lined with uh, title and date at the top. We have a half lined, half blank. We have lined and grid on each page. Then we have a basic grid. We have a half grid, half blank. We have a dotted, which is like a bullet journal style. And then half dotted, half blank. We have a basic chart, a half chart. We have a list with two columns on each page. And then I also included a to-do list style with the check mark boxes if you prefer to use that. Then I have a daily page which goes from 5 a.m. hourly until midnight. And then I have a weekly page here with the Sunday to Saturday week layout. And I also have a second weekly version where you can kind of fill in the days as you'd like. And then lastly, a monthly template where it's just the year at a glance. If this is helpful for you, maybe you need to log some classes or, or important events or something of that sort. So yeah, those are the 18 templates. So this is perfect if you just wanna have a quick notebook that you wanna carry around with you. So I think that's all I really wanted to go through. If you have any questions, let me know down below if you'd like to see any tutorials or any specifics. And I will leave a link below to the planner flip through video as well as I do go into a little bit more detail about how to use some of the GoodNotes tools up here and whatnot. So that might be helpful if you're new to digital planning or digital notebooks. But yeah, that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.